Good afternoon, everyone. We are here to celebrate our March Student of the Month. And I will tell you, um, I am out of my element at the table today. There's a lot of very smart people there, um, math and organic chemistry. So yeah, I have nothing to offer that our table. But um, I would like to introduce uh, mom and dad, Christina and Alexi. And yeah, put my and Tiffany McBride from the math department, who will be introducing our student. Come on up. We lift this up just a little bit. Yeah, we're both a little taller. Hello, thank you so much for having us. Um, it's a pleasure to be able to come here. This is my second year here um, and introduce these math students to you. And I really appreciate it. Um, I have had the pleasure of knowing Paulo for a couple of years now. And the transformation that I've seen in him has been amazing. Um, he is a wonderful student, very nice, kind young man. Um, he has chosen a different future for himself than what he came into high school with. And I have been thoroughly impressed, I have goosebumps a little bit right now thinking of it. I'm just so very proud of this young man. And every time I talk to him, I learn something new about him. He is very dynamic. He has wonderful goals for his life. Um, and I'm excited and hope that he will still email me and let me know where he goes in his future. Um, and I would like to represent him and bring him forward now so he can tell you a little bit about himself. Come on Paolo Dunchenko. Good afternoon. I'm Paolo Dunchenko. Although I'm standing here today, it doesn't mean I've always been a good student. As a matter of fact, not even a year ago, I was sitting in the exact same classroom with bad grades. I wasn't engaging in any work, nor did I have any idea of what I was going to do after high school. But thanks to my teachers and my parents who kept pushing me and who kept believing in me, I was able to turn my life around and recover my academic status. Over the course of the past year, I not only managed to achieve good grades, but I've also developed a strong passion in entrepreneurial work. I currently own an online store and I do digital marketing for various companies as well. As I finished my last two months of high school, I plan to move forward in my career as an entrepreneur as I hope to attend business school at St. Louis University. So I'm sure Mrs. McBride is pleased to hear that I'll use math in my career. <laughs> Although it took me a long time to discover who I was, this is just the beginning of my journey. Thank you for your time. Paolo, that's a fantastic story, and, and um, it, not every student has the opportunity to connect with a teacher who really you embrace and can motivate you to bigger and better things, so that is awesome. Um, also sitting at the table, it was interesting because Paolo's dad is from Russia, mom is from Italy, and then Musanda came over and, you know, being from Africa, we had this cultural diversity right there. And that was like, that's what Rotary is about, right? It's about diversity. It's about um, all parts of the world. So congratulations to you. I know your mom and dad are proud of you. Mrs. McBride is proud of you. And we are all proud of you. And come back and join us in Rotary when you, Definitely. when you, um, move forward in your start business. Yes, yeah, start your business or continue your business. Okay, so upon recommendation by the Edwardsville High School faculty and staff, Paolo Demchenko, you are hereby recognized and commended by the Edwardsville Rotary Club for outstanding achievement while a student at Edwardsville High School. So congratulations. Thank you. Okay, parents and teacher photo op. 